What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I want to cover a certain aspect of the Bungie blog posted last night. Now the blog contained many many new interesting points uh, coming over the course of December via updates and patches that will for sure change the future of Destiny 2. There are a certain few aspects I do want to cover in standalone videos as there's plenty to talk about on said aspects. Today I want to talk about the Masterworks weapon tier system and what we know about it so far and what it potentially could be. But before we go any further people as per usual if you want to win some epic loot i am giving away exclusive emblem and sparrow codes gift cards and more to win some simply drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below and join my discord server linked within the video description okay so announced last night was the introduction of masterwork weapons a new tier of weapons we can grind for i believe come the 12th of december a week after the curse of osiris dlc is dropped so what are these masterwork weapons in the words of bungie a new weapon tier masterworks which will feature stat trackers random re-rollable stat bonuses unique item tooltips and item detail screens legendary weapons will drop as or be upgraded to become masterworks weapons Masterworks will have a few advantages over the baseline legendary weapon. Track and display the number of kills with that weapon, with a choice between total kill count or crucible only kill count. Generate orbs for you and your allies on multi kills. Add weapon stat bonuses that are selected randomly from a small pool and are re rollable. And these masterworks drop from any source of legendary weapons for characters above 250 power level. Unwanted masterworks can be dismantled into materials that can upgrade an existing legendary weapon into a masterwork. Raid and Trolls of the Nine weapons will have a very high chance of being masterworks. They say they have future plans to extend masterworks to other gear and expose your kill counts in more places, e.g. crucible kill screens. So yes, that is basically what Bungie announced last night. Although I know for some, it is still a little confusing. So let me try and sum it up for you. So these masterwork legendaries can be obtained from basically everywhere normal legendaries can drop. Crucible strikes and so forth. Also legendary engrams can also decrypt into masterworks weapons. Although not a guarantee, it can happen based on RNG. Another place you can get these is from Master Raul, the blue bastard himself. On the 5th of December, with the Curse of Osiris DLC update, the Cryptop will start selling the legendary engrams, as he used to back in Destiny 1. These will be purchased with shards. On December 12th, with that patch of then, you will also have a chance of getting masterwork weapons from these Cryptarch legendary engrams. So what's the difference between the two, legendaries and masterworks versions? The masterworks versions, as Bungie states, will have a few advantages over the base legendary version. They will have what's known as now the Masterworks tier perk, which within the blog yesterday they showcased the UU's gift Masterworks version. They talked about an extra perk being applied to the Masterworks version of the legendary in question. So what they state within the blog I believe is just for the weapon they showcase, which is the UU's gift. It has a perk on it as you can see which allows you to generate orbs and multi kills. It also shows the amount of kills you have with the weapon and it also has a plus 10 reload stat. So that's all good and dandy. But what did the other two Masterwork perks offer? We can see here. What stats will they increase? The Hammer one has to be Impact for sure. And the one which looks to have the Crucible 2 Swords logo on, I ain't sure of. It could be anything. No doubt though there will be perks for these Masterworks weapons which increase range, increase stability, increase handling, increase dare I say, mag size, you just never know. The question is, how limited are they? What perks might interest here though is the fact this UU's gift seems to show three perks you can pick between. How does this work? If we get another UU's gift drop which has a masterworks perk selection which isn't on your main one, does that automatically unlock on your main one? We have seen features being added like this since the start of the game. How ornaments unlock across the board for every exotic of the same upon getting that ornament. Could the same kind of system be in place here? It would save a lot of inventory space, uh, not having five different weapons or bearing different perks. If when a new masterwork perk is found on a weapon you already have, it unlocks across the board, that would seriously be interesting and it would seriously save a lot of space. Now, could be jumping the guns here, you never know. This could just be all what the UU's gift offers uh, masterworks perk wise. 
What we see on screen now is all what this has. And once you find that Masterworks You Yours gift, you have all what it offers. We're just gonna have to wait and see. I do like the idea though, and there's definitely more grind behind them offering a selection of Masterworks perks, which ain't all unlocked on the very first Masterworks version of the weapon in question. Another thing I wonder, what else perk-wise can be obtained? Yes, we know we can spawn more orbs upon multi kills, a great PvE perk for sure, but what else can we find? A Firefly extension for hand cannons and scabs, tracking for rockets, counterbalance for pulse rifles, who knows? There could be a few select perks we can obtain via these masterwork weapons, or they could all just be the very same thing and all offer what we see on screen here, more orbs upon multi kills. That for me wouldn't make sense, but you just never know. They do mention though that the stat roll, i.e. range, reload, impact, handling, etc, etc, are re-rollable on these masterworks weapons so it will be of interest to see the kind of uniqueness people chase with these new customizable features these paired with a fixed mod system where more than just a few are worth using we could seriously create some great unique weapons for sure i just hope they get this right it is early days yet but i'm positive they understand where they are at now the amount of people speaking out on changes needed is uncanny and it's for this very reason they had to make serious changes indeed and announce these serious changes sooner than later and i'm guessing we all welcome these and much much more and for sure people i believe it can only get better from this point forward although some of the things they mentioned in this blog ain't perfect and i will do videos on them detailing that but it's definitely heading in the right direction in my opinion but what do you think about this new weapon tier of masterworks do you think it's a good addition and let me know well thanks as always for stopping by people, hope you enjoyed the video, if you did leave a like it really does help me out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily destiny videos be sure to subscribe, if you never want to miss a video I upload hit that bell button, next is that subscribe button to receive email notifications of when I do upload. But thanks as always for stopping by people and hopefully I will see you on my next video.